the Nowhere Farm stays. Day eight of our incubation, it's pretty cool. A lot has been happening with the chick, as you can see on my close look. Shout out to my brother Benjamin, he's lending us his green screen. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at day eight. So, a lot of the basic tools of being a chicken are were formed today. They have claws on their toes now, which are important for finding food. They have a beak, which is again very important for finding food. They have a lot of nerves there, so they can actually count with their beak. And what's really cool is their wings. All right, so today is April 6th, and today is day eight, so we'll put that on April 6th. And it went on perfectly, all right. Let's see about the humidity. Hmm. It's looking, a little, it's looking all right. I think we will have to fill it tomorrow, so I'll show you tomorrow. Now let's go see the new baby goats. All right, these are the Alabama triplets. We've got our very own girl of 2020, Tuscaloosa. Then we got a Montgomery. He's a lot smaller than his siblings. And then we got big old Birmingham over there. He looks the most like his mommy paint wise. You look the most like your mommy color-wise, and you look like the most like your dad. This is their first time outside. They're absolutely loving it, but they're staying close to mommy. And they think it's always lunchtime, so they're trying to get at her milk. <laughs> they're all very spirited. So we have a dog nearby and DC is being very aware of that, but he's not going to mess with the babies. Now you might see that, don't worry, he can't, he can't get through the big fence. Um, you might see that Birmingham has a floppy ear that always happens with triplets. There's always one that ends up with a floppy ear because I think he was pressed a little too tightly against the wall. Um, and with triplets, there's always one that's a little extra small. It was hooch with Miami's kids. So you can see her making sure that they're clean and making sure that they're safe. And they're all very, very curious. <laughs> These guys are very, very big. Um, especially for their age. I don't know why you took him in there. I guess they do like the leaves, don't they? Now you might have noticed her beard and you might be thinking, oh, girl goats shouldn't have beards. Well, sometimes they don't have beards. It really depends on their genes. Her mother, for instance, doesn't have a very good beard, but her great grandmother, Mama, and her, uh, her sister, Cincinnati, they have really good beards. The boys have beards too, but the girls have smaller ones. So they're getting lunch. Really more like a early dinner though. But baby goats eat several times a day. The head tossing means, oh my gosh, I wanna play.
So their eyes kind of look a little bit blue right now, but they'll they'll darken into a nice tawny like their mothers when they're older. Their maternal grandfather did have blue eyes, but that didn't seem to happen with any of our girls. So if you look at Birmingham, you'll see the little spots that seem to with the with the cowlicks that seem to indicate he's going to get horns. Montgomery has them too, but unlike them, Tuscaloosa. Oh. Unlike them, Tuscaloosa seems to have a very smooth head like her mother, so we're thinking she won't get horns. waiting her turn for milk and um thank you guys for watching if you'd like to see more check us out tomorrow thank you for joining me today at nowhere farm i hope you will join me each day to check back with the eggs to see their daily development and hatch around day 21. we will also be exploring other areas and animals on the farm each day if you enjoyed my video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our other exciting farm activities like goats having their babies, planting the gardens, riding moo, and learning all the things about Nowhere Farm. If you have any questions, check us out on Facebook or Instagram or email us at nowherefarm at gmail.com. <laughs>